Alright, welcome back to the dark side. I have a question. Did you used to watch a lot of television? Situations in your life where you'd come home from school and stick your favourite show on and binge watch for hours and hours? However, without a doubt, at least 30 minutes of your time would be devoted to watching adverts or commercials. Now 99% of us never pay attention. But what about that 1%? What if I told you that beyond the world of commercials, there was actually a place of dark? What if I told you that maybe that 1% is still stuck watching those commercials right now. What if I said there was possibly a chance that commercials was actually created with the intent of brainwashing on a continuous loop? A cursed world where only the most discomforted commercials exist. Hidden depths and insights within children. I think there is more to this than what really meets the eye. Mmm. <laughs> Alright, welcome to your favourite channel on YouTube. That was mayonnaise on a spoon and I just consumed it. Forgive me for my sins. Now you're set for today's video, we're actually going to be looking at cursed commercials. Something so complex that not even the human mind can begin to understand or make sense of. Kind of like my love life. I won't lie. This is not a workout. This is a revolution. This is shake weight. That's one for the girls right there. <laughs> It honestly felt so wrong for, for me to watch that. I uh, can't ever imagine myself doing that, to be honest. <laughs> that was stolen from another content creator. Arrest me, if you will. But for this video, I thought we'd take a bit more of a laid-back approach. I thought for once we could actually laugh and cringe together. Considering all I've done for the last 10 videos is rip people new assholes. But I do encourage you to watch to the end of the video because this video does contain Dr. Don Valentine and my nan. Two great recipes for an amazing video. Unfortunately, it doesn't include me. Who wants to watch my sadness? So without further ado, let's try and reach your like goal of a thousand likes this video. And of course, leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the video. And subscribe to get me to 40k by the end of the year. Now your program will begin. Well, we all have beloved memories of Rick. But are we really supposed to believe that a mad scientist inventor with a flying car just showed up on our doorstep after being gone for years? Yeah, you know, he does have a lot of really weird made-up sounding catchphrases. Well, beloved Dum Dum, Ricky Ticky Tappy, bitch! And that's the way the news goes. Hit the sack, Jack. Uh-oh, some of the Hey! Ah! Welcome to the first episode of Curse Commercials, with me, myself and I, Dr. Don Valentine. Tonight is an episode of entertainment, but fear not, there will be a takedown video coming very, very soon on the Curtis Price channel. Now, let's see what's on the agenda tonight. Your job. Surely cannot enjoy the light white nougat, chewy caramel, and salty dry- Lovely. A baby which is overdeveloped. Makes a change from a man who's underdeveloped, eh? I think I just insulted myself, but way ho. This is almost as cursed as No Nut November, which I sadly failed in the first three hours. And boy, was that nut a humiliating one. Hey, babe. Do you have a frog in your throat? No. Well, do you want one? And tell me, what kind of sick commercial would sexualize Kermit the Frog? It may not be intentionally, but to other people around the world, such as your lovely selves watching right now, probably sounds like Kermit the Frog's winky is about to go down your throat. I have a question. Did any of you like the Muppets when you were younger? You know, just, just, you know, personal interest question, just, just wondering. Because Kermit the Frog was my teddy bear. We truly do live in a sick world. Amazon Prime Video. Amazon Prime Video no doko ga ee ka to yuu to ya na. Yeah, 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 mo so yu no Amazon Prime Video nan ka yuri. Mesh da, mesh da, mesh da, mesh da. Oi, yo, goro mesh mo te kuna yo. So they literally took the cutest animal on earth and decided to change it into something that I only see in my nightmares. You wanna know how I got these scars? What goes through people's minds when they're making these adverts? Your child's never shot himself before. Well, he will now. Okay, believe it or not, what you just watched there was an advert for Kinder Surprise, not a corrupt porn video from the dark web. Kinder Surprise is actually banned in the US by the FDA because apparently the little toy inside can cause a choking hazard. <laughs> well, tell that to Kermit the Frog. Also, keeping in mind that this chocolate is designed for kids. It has that kind of commercial. This is definitely the thing that comes to collect you before you die. Without a doubt as well. Plus de 
data, plus de stories, plus de forfait énergie mobile 100 giga 9,99€. Well, I didn't realize they released the trailer for It 3 so early. Seeing that thing right there really makes me wish I had a blindfold super glue to my face for the rest of my life. And by the way, <laughs> this is a commercial for a phone service, not a nightmare. Okay, but enough of that, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to have two guests on the show for the first time ever exploring cursed commercials on the Curtis Price channel. Please welcome our very first guests on Curse Commercial. What's your opinion on adverts? I've been watching adverts since the 1900s. Oh, nothing new really. People gone missing, mind you. Mostly during the commercials of EastEnders. But that's about it. When you're not watching TV, what do you find yourself doing? Oh, now we're getting somewhere. I'm very gifted in what I like to call stair athletics. What on earth is that? Well, let me show you. Ad breaks are the bane of this generation. I've wasted hours on this shit. What about the ads on your video which pay you? Well, you know, just... Do you pay attention to adverts? If so, which one do you remember the most? Yeah, I suppose I do pay attention to some. Um, the Hey Baby, What's Up, Are You Really Watching Porn By Yourself one is a Wait, pretty I good didn't one. Mean that. Uh, also, the penis enlargement one, the guy with the really huge balls. Nice that's pretty good. Uh, one that really sticks out a lot, actually, um, oh, pardon Jesus. pardon the pun, uh, is the Bang Bros adverts. No, They're no, really good. Um, oh, and What Are You Doing, Step Bro? Oh, that God. gets me off the most. What sort of television do you watch? Um, probably see a lot of crime watch to be fair. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Yeah, the police parodies really get me off at night. <laughs> and cup noodles. Oh, look at my big boy eating his veggies. Curtis, I can't do this. <laughs> Why? What do you mean? It's like five seconds into the video. I love my pot noodle. Right. And the last thing I want to see right. is a human head floating around in my noodles. <laughs> <laughs> but you do, you have to remember that this is a television advert. This was put out into the world for people to see. You know, that's the funny part about it. That's not the point. That's exactly why I leave the room when the commercial comes on. It's a world crisis. <laughs> Shit. No, no wonder people are going missing then. You'll be next now if you're not careful. The power of Christ compels you. Now clearly that man didn't last two seconds during No Nut November. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, that feels great on my abs. I can really feel this working. Hawaiian chair while answering phones, using the computer. Oh, this is great on my abs. It's like a full workout. How much time you got left on the clock? About 30 seconds. Oh, sweet. Whoa. What? Dude, your head. This is awesome. Hey, that looks like a fella you watch. Who no. Ooh. Will Lenny? <laughs> Oh, hang on, acknowledge this now. He literally finished off that sentence by saying that was awesome. Well, of course, imagine waking up with something like that. Why would I want to? Just, just, just leave it be there now, yeah? Wanna play? Bumperheads here? Why not? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine walking into the tube and seeing these massive heads just floating towards you? I'd be crawling under the seats, I would be. You want an airhead? Sure, I'd take a bite. So that is the end of today's video. It's very different to my normal style. Uh, be sure to follow my Twitter and Instagram, of course. And let me know just in the comment section what you thought. Leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, obviously what me and my nan done was like, you know, reacting and, and we scripted it. So that's what we try to do, make like a, a comedy sketch, if you get me. If you want to see more, let me know, because this could be a program I could start and it, it could be a fun thing you guys could watch. So yeah, I love you all to bits. And without further ado, I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah. Peace.
Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them.